Well, this is Bill Connors, and I'm here with Jody Davis, uh, who's been a coach and a partner for our husband, Don Davis, who had a stroke in 2009. Uh, and uh, this is for our newsletter, September 2016. Jody, thanks for joining us from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Aren't you proud I can pronounce it correctly? Lancaster. I am. All right. Uh, Jody, what we really wanted to talk a little bit about today was um, you've been around, you've done lots of therapy and in, in, in your teacher. What can you tell us about what's been different in how we've worked with Don from what you've seen traditionally? What, what has really worked for him that's kind of unique? I think the thing that's the most unique about this is that he has developed relationships uh, with you and with all the people that he works with on cafes. That's very unique. You know you're not alone. You know there's other people with your same situation, in some in worse uh, situations and some in better situations. But that you, this aphasia is it's a big time problem and it's not something that's talked about a lot. So all of a sudden you're aware, you're not alone. And um, you can be in the comfort of your own home. I think that was another biggie uh, for us that makes it very unique. And that there's such opportunity for independent practice provided like immediately at your fingertips. Um, you don't just have to walk out of the office and then have to create something. Okay. So it sounds to me as if some of the things that have been different, especially with our telepractice, is the opportunity to meet others and work with them and actually practice with them. Um, right. And the idea that you can do it from your own home and that, um, that, that the tons of practice that needs to happen. It needs to, be an, in, needs to be an intensive, ongoing sort of approach. Does that make I think sense? Too, the other unique thing I forgot to mention is that you're not just um, talking you are writing, you are spelling, and you are conversing. It's like all of it, listening, speaking, writing, using it, all the modalities of learning. That's yeah. exactly the word I was going to use. You know, you need all different angles, different modalities. Um, we may hone in on one thing, but then we bring it into a whole conversational dyad. Right. Okay. Well, very good. Do you have any advice for those people out there who are not engaged in an intensive, interactive, social program to maximize recovery? Um, to, okay, so they're not involved in a program, right, right. as you're saying. Mm -hmm. So then this would be, I'm directing this more toward their caregivers as well as to themselves. Mm -hmm. I would say get people involved, uh, be open about what you're trying to do, uh, me as caregiver said to my friends, don't pretend, please, that you understand. Let's see if we can ask on clarifying questions so that you can really understand and check that you're, you know, check with him then. Um, I also know that I made flashcards so that we could, somebody, this was early on where he wasn't even, at the computer much because he wouldn't have been able to do it alone, but with with pictures or with verbs or just so that somebody comes in, it's something that, you know, your family can do with you, a friend can do with you, uh, but you have to be able to be willing to be honest that you want the help and you need the help. So you kind of took a direct approach and you, you kind of got the friends and said, hey, Don wants to get better, so... Let's sort of be upfront about it, you know. Let's let's find the pragmatically um, what what does Don need to do to communicate better, and then you went and you did the drills and 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 and, and things. Well, I, and I actually had coaches, Bill, that came to my house, mm -hmm. and I mean they're friends, not paid coaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we it, it's it's another way we're very different. We really train coaches to get that practice in order to maximize the practice right. time. So I would watch you, and then I would see what you did, and I would take notes, and then I could tell someone else who was coming in my house that was going to be with Dawn, this is what I want you to do, and I'm, you know, model it. 
coaches coaching coaches. We need all the help we can get, and you need a and we need to be aggressive and persistent. Well, thank you, Jody. That's uh, those are very those are valuable things from someone who has a great perspective. All right. Thank you.